So 2016 in November is actually when I started journaling. There would be moments that he was Larry. And then the rest of the time, it was, it was all the symptoms full blown all the time. A year and a half had passed since Jane Briggs' husband, Larry, had what doctors called a mini stroke in mid-2015. It was the first of many episodes as they started coming months, then weeks, then days apart. Loss of balance, memory, speech, a drawn, dropped face, all the things you would look for a stroke. And so we'd go to the hospital, spend three or four days running tests. Multiple hospitalization, multiple checkup by all the specialists that we can think of. By the two year mark, the episodes were coming daily. The doctors still had no diagnosis. Larry, a police chaplain and staff member at his church, had to step away from both jobs. Watching Larry slip away mentally and physically, Jane poured her heart into her journal as she clung to hope and prayer. Well, I know that there were people who had their friends, their friends, and their friends were praying. It was their prayers that, you know, gave me wisdom, gave me strength, gave me help through the day. It was prayer. Eventually, Larry needed round-the-clock care, unable to even dress himself. Kathy Kaufman, a registered nurse and friend of the Briggs, was there to help. It was sad. He wouldn't remember who you were from week to week. And just a blank stare. We were at church when he asked who the man was standing up there, and that was our son. It's like a switch that goes off and he can no longer walk. The switch would turn off, he can no longer feed himself. Off and on, off and on, and then finally off. Still, the prayers continued. God can heal him, fine. God can take him, fine. I'll continue where we are, fine. So I didn't know if that was God's plan but I was gonna trust him. If it was, then I would be at peace. Finally, in May 2017, a team of doctors at the University of Virginia Neuroscience Center diagnosed Larry with Lewy body dementia. It's a brain disorder that brings on progressive dementia as well as symptoms of Parkinson's disease. After two and a half years, Larry was beyond treatment. You probably have about And they were right. It was about nine days when Larry lost everything. He couldn't fit himself. He was lost. Even though he was alive, June and July, every day was worse. At least at first. And then he walks in and said, hey, I really feel good. And I said, I see that. I'm just standing at the door, sort of frozen. And I realize he's walking. Larry was up, dressed, and ready to go to the weekly prayer meeting at church. I'm driving, and he's just, it's as if nothing happened. I knew he was back. At home, Kathy was concerned Jane was hanging on to a false hope. And a lot of people get better before they get worse. They have that little period where they start looking better and they do all the things they want to do and talk to their families, and then they die. Until he kept getting better and kept getting better and kept getting better. So, hey, Doc, I'm healed. God's healed me. <laughs> he just stood back and he examined me and had me walk and back and forth. And he just shook his head and said, wonderful. <laughs> it's literally like I went to bed one night, woke up two and a half years later. Doctors retested Larry and all results came back normal. He looks totally different because to me, it's just uh, unbelievable. It makes you really look at your faith. You look at things a little less clinically and a little more spiritually. As for Larry, it wasn't until he read Jane's journal 
that he realized the miracle God had given him. Two and a half years, I don't have any memory of my life at all. I honestly believe every morning when I wake up, it's a gift. God wants people to know that he's in your life every day, even in the middle of the hardest, darkest, broken moments. He's there. He's there.